Happy New Year, Rhode Islanders, and thank you for all you've done in the past year. I look forward to working with you and everybody in my administration to ensure a happy and prosperous 2013. 2012 was a great year and the governor showed terrific leadership. First thing that comes to mind is bringing JetBlue. I was a former legal counsel to the airport corporation. I know how difficult it is to get a new airline to come to our state. He met with the leadership at JetBlue and they're now here providing service. He's been a tremendous economic driver for the, for the state. Uh, has actually lowered costs uh, for other airlines and making it uh, rather inexpensive for folks to uh, get away, but also more importantly for folks to come in and uh, our numbers uh, are going up at the airport. In addition, uh, the governor created the Office of Management and Budget. The governor's made it very clear that each agency and department needs to live within its means to identify areas where they can find savings, um, and we've been very successful. In fiscal year 2012, we ended the year with a significant surplus. We're projecting that in fiscal 13, we will again end the year with a significant surplus. A fiscally sound government, both at the state level as well as at the municipality level, is fundamental for strong, healthy economic development. The mayoral experience that the governor had has been so important um, in understanding the plight of some of the local communities in Rhode Island, and especially with those where we've had uh, fiscal distress and the governor's had to go in and help um, through the Department of Revenue to bring them back uh, into fiscal health. Uh, Central Falls being obviously the most prominent uh, community uh, where they had to basically seek um, bankruptcy court in order to create a, a stable financial future and that is embodied in their five-year plan that was approved by the bankruptcy court. That uh, plan was um, recognized as one that was developed in a very short period of time at a very cost-effective amount by the bankruptcy court itself. 2012 has been an amazing year for education in the state of Rhode Island and we are continuing to move forward with the implementation of our strategic plan which is called transforming education in the state of Rhode Island. Governor Chafee has been a huge champion of education and it has really been wonderful to work with him on this issue because he cares so passionately about it. And I think I really appreciate how the governor not only values education for the sake of education, but also truly sees the connection between education and Rhode Island's economy. Governor Chafee has certainly been a strong supporter of higher education. He has stopped that downward spiral of funding and uh, budget cuts. And it's been wonderful to see that he's actually added money to the budget and says that higher education is a priority. Priority because we all know without education, the state of Rhode Island can't get back on its feet. When Governor Chafee took office in 2011, Rhode Island was really in serious difficulty. Our unemployment rate was 11.4%, one of the highest uh, in the country. We had lost 40,000 jobs in the previous administration over the past four years. Um, and we really were in a very severe recession. Our unemployment rate is now 10.4%, uh, down a full percentage point. Still high, but we're moving in the right direction. Since July of this year alone, over 11,000 people have returned to the workforce. That's 11,000 people who have jobs, who are buying goods and services, contributing to the economy. And we're also looking at the whole issue of regulatory reform. We have regulatory silos in our state. And in these regulatory silos, we have 74 regulatory agencies. We have 1,638 regulations. The governor's bold move of stepping up, looking at these regulations, instead of a four-year period of time, he's amped it up to two years. We need to break down the silos to increase commerce, increase business, and make a clear and predictable outcome for whoever has to walk through this. Uh, I hear a lot um, of cynicism throughout the state that Rhode Island can't do hard things, can't do big things. Uh, I think that we have evidence to the contrary with the relocation of Interstate 195. We'll be able to accelerate the development process and the creation of new buildings, new jobs uh, in this area. Uh, and we were able to do that, quite frankly, through the leadership of the governor. We still have a long way to go and the governor understands that. Uh, looking to build on economic development initiatives, but the trend is certainly in the positive direction. We want to see that accelerate in 2013. I am extremely bullish for Rhode Island. We do have our challenges, and I look forward to them. Growing our economy, making our schools the best in the country, making sure our roads and bridges are set for the future. So I look forward to working with you, and we're going to have a prosperous and happy 2013. Thank you.